It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I've done no vlogging today, but I've had a really productive day uh, at the desk, doing a lot of work. Me and John are now just taking a walk. So I've spent most of today working at my desk, clearing up some emails, doing some reading, thinking, planning. Uh, my lamp on my desk, the bulb popped, so we're on our way to just go and pick up a new bulb. I do feel like a bit of a plonker standing in the middle of the roundabout, but that sky is gorgeous. So I've had a few people asking me the how-to questions and what-to questions. How do you plan for the new year? What do you do? How do you reflect? So this vlog is going to be mostly about that and I hope it's going to be helpful for you. So I've got my bulb. And I got some throat sweets for Bethany. Off home. Should we walk that way? So if a year is like a blank canvas, blank piece of paper, you can write anything on it you want. It's time to be intentional about what you do. So I look at three main areas. Now there's subheadings, I could go further than that, but this is a simple way to look at it. So I look at spiritual health, relational health, and physical health. So I take those three areas of my life and I reflect back on 2015 and think, how have I done? That's your first question. My second question is then looking forward to 2016 and thinking, what are my goals? What would I like to do in those three areas? So here's a rough idea of how you could do it. You put your three headings down, you write down your goals under each heading, then you write down the how. So I've got spiritual health goals and how, relational health goals and how, physical health goals and how. So I think that's pretty simple. Um, I then think that the key to this, because that's easy to do, is these two words. You're going to have a plan and you're going to be consistent in doing that plan. So you make a plan. When am I going to do these things? Where am I going to do them? When and where? And then you're consistent that you do them regularly. Most people fail in goals because they do them for a short time or they set the goal. They have no strategy. They have no plan and they're not consistent. Success wasn't complicated, but feels good. So I had to run an errand today and the boys asked me while I'm in church doing a few jobs if they could bring this. Judah got a drone for Christmas and he's got a high ceiling in here to see what he can do with it. So. So as you look forward to 2016, you need a goal, a strategy, a plan, and be consistent.